Good morning. Osho, day 23rd asana is Matsyasana, which means fish pose. This asana is benefit. Now let's look at the benefits of this asana. This asana gives a lot of strength and then flexibility to your neck region, to your chest, to your abdomen, and to your core area. Plus, it also gives benefit to your upper back, middle back and then to your lower back area. Matsyasana is to be done with a proper care. Start always, if you are a beginner, always start with the initial stage and then do go for the Purna Matsyasana. So today we will do initial for the beginners Matsyasana and then the uh, the matsyasan for the experienced ones. Now cautions. So those who have had any neck related injuries or any injuries in your elbow and in your bicep regions should avoid doing this asana and if you have uh, uh, any problem, any issues around your chest then you are supposed to avoid this one. Uh, this asana is not good for people with lower blood pressure. Now, let's see how to do the asana. Matsyasana. First step is for the beginner step. In order to do that, get in the Sukha Stiti or in the Dandasana Stiti, sitting in the Dandasana. <coughs> Place both your hands at the back and then lie on the floor. While lying on the floor, now try to take both your hands below your buttocks or below your back, place them on the floor. Now lift your neck up to see your toe finger and then placing your hands as a support on your elbow, lift your chest up and your upper back, place your head of your head onto the floor. Now place your entire weight on your elbow, that is on your folded elbow. Don't place enough pressure on your head. Now stay in this posture for about 10 seconds and then again lift your head, get back onto the floor and release your hands. This one is for the beginners. Now, next one is if you would want to do it, the Purnamachasana. In order to do Purnamachasana, you can get on the sleeping posture. And in the sleeping posture, come into Padmasana Stiti, that is, fold your leg left and then right on top of other place both of them make sure your knees are touching onto the floor take support of your hand place them behind your shoulders and then give a lift and then bring your hand back hold the toe fingers and stay in this position for the count of 10 and slowly place your hand back for the support release your head place your hands back onto the sides release your feet come back and then sit in the matsyasana remember while doing matsyasana always make sure that you do not have any previous neck ailments while doing it and if you are doing your beginners do not try to i do not advise you to do the second posture that is the purna matsyasana now thank you very much for joining us for today thank you have a good day